Hello everybody, it's Rhino here. I'm at Disney Springs. You can see the world of Disney behind me. It's a sunny day. Stitch is spitting away on people. Uh, at least it sounds like it. He's more leaking than spitting. It's just kind of drooling out of his mouth today. But I'm here. I know I, I was here not too long ago, but um, I stopped down here because I was just like looking to see like a Disney wishable. There's the Guardians of the Galaxy's wishables. And I was like, oh, I want to go check these out and see them in person. Um, and if you're not familiar, those are, I'll show you when we get inside, but those are like these like limited edition blind bag little like plushes they're about yay big and um they're about 10 bucks each usually there's five to a set four in the blind bags and one is like guaranteed you can just buy it off the shelf so i just wanted to come down and check those because i am just a huge fan of guardians of the galaxy i love rocket raccoon um and uh but while i was in there checking that out i was actually like oh there's there's a couple of things in here that caught my eye where i was like this is new or i haven't seen this before i haven't at least showed anybody in in uh, a video or anything like that yet highlighted any of it so it was enough that i was like you know what i gotta get back outside and i'm gonna start a little shopping video and take you on a tour in here so let's go in together and let's just check out and see if we can find some new merchandise here at world of disney at least new to us right new to us friends because remember i am going to keep up these shopping videos until you say no we don't want you to do it anymore and then that's when i'll stop and i'll try something else and be original again um but before i go inside i just want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do here at the Diz is brought to you by dreams unlimited travel they are experts at helping you plan the perfect disney vacation it costs you nothing extra to book with them and you help support us uh, the channel and all the content that we produce here so we very much appreciate you dreamsunlimitedtravel.com the next time you're planning a disney trip please check them out um so let's uh let's go inside i think actually all the doors are open today um or you know there's in and out doors but it's not the usual just one in so uh that makes me hopeful for like a little bit of a easier shopping day but we'll see who knows it's disney world anything can happen here right okay so i'm actually gonna start on the left side over here and then work my way around the store so i have some sort of order today um the first thing i wanted to share with everybody is a mug i don't remember seeing this one before this is fun the pew pew it actually is 14.99 a pretty big mug pretty big handle i like that uh and then obviously the face mugs i've always enjoyed these 14.99 as well cheshire cat and you've got yourself uh i'm sorry that was stitched that's cheshire cat i'm saying what i was looking at next but i want to show you um oh this is cool i didn't see this before it's fun is that supposed to just be all the settings of all the disney princesses i think that it oh 14.99 unless otherwise ticketed but uh the one i did see was this one look at this i like classic poop like that i like that it's like the honey pot too this one's twenty dollars so it is otherwise ticketed oh this way okay so i've showed these journals before this is thirty dollars this is like hard plastic um looks like you know the opening storybook from the movie but what i didn't know before was that on just the first couple of pages that was a very undramatic reveal but there's like an explanation of how this was a um like a rep meant to be a replica from the archives because look so it's just the first whoops it's just the first like two pages see that are the book and then it's got like the drawings and stuff and then the back because the story ends right says oh jeez these brown pages <laughs> says and live happily ever after i didn't know that before i thought it was just a blank notebook and i was here with a friend and they were like oh those are cool but i want it to be the actual storybook and then lo and behold it does have some of the actual storybook in there so that's really neat i think this is like a really awesome shelf piece 
I would be way too afraid to write in this, but uh, this would make a really cool gift for somebody, I think. Okay, so there is a whole bunch of this, like, um, Disney home, like, fun eat repeat stuff. I'll show you later in the video when we get to the other side of this door, but it's like these reusable, like, this is a silicone pouch. So you can put, like, snacks and stuff like that in it in your bag instead of using, like, a Ziploc bag. Um, which is cool. That's $13. I actually just saw these at Target today, too, for, like, the first time ever, and I was so confused by them. But I love this because I always think how many um, Ziploc bags I go through because at Disney, this is great not just for snacks. You can put your phone in here for any sort of water rides or anything like that. So if you're using a backpack or, or you're caught in a downpour or anything like that, this is the perfect size for like your phone. And then speaking of that too, look at this water bottle. So it's like this completely and entirely collapsible water bottle that springs out. And it's crazy. I, I mean, I, I carry a camera in my backpack, so it feels like maybe this would lead to like a little bit of dripping or something like that, but I love this idea. Like, uh, if this price tag is for this, this is $22.99. I mean, this is great for uh, anybody who's really trying to pack the bag in, I think, so. Or you don't have pockets on the side of the bags. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Like, there's this reusable, this one's a metal tin, a metal, uh, this is a little more random, I feel like. Just like a lunch tin, $24.99. The fact that it's metal, I don't know. Hand wash only. Can't put that in the microwave. I don't know. I'm not, not crazy crazy about that, but you got some of these like reusable bottles, which is nice that they went full in on. I don't know. $19.99. You've got the bigger ones. That's, I'm pretty sure these are like the double walled. This big one. This must be like 32 or 64 ounces of water, I'm guessing. $34.99 and then of course your your to complement the set you have this fun eat repeat like insulated bag which is actually nice I like that it comes with a really long strap on it um because you know oftentimes lunch bags are like the little teeny tiny straps and you're like sometimes I'm just bringing my lunch $34.99 That'd be good to put some beers in to take to the pool, maybe? I don't know. I know we've seen the aprons before. We've seen the pot holders. I don't remember seeing these. Oh, Gus Gus. It's uh, $20 for the two. And then, of course, we have seen this before. This is, uh, I believe, $14.99, yeah, for the spatula. It's just funny to me, but, man, you got to really be into... Cinderella. If you watch the other videos, you know I've seen these before. These were in the parks. This was at the Emporium in Magic Kingdom. And again, these are $24.99. I actually think these are a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to take like the little icons and you know, you don't have to just make cookies with it. You can do other fun projects and stuff like that. But, um, and then we saw these as well, which are the reusable straws. I do love that all this reusable stuff is coming out. That's $10. You can get your Goofy and Donald's spatula set for 20 And then the Mickey and Minnie, which is also $20. Um, but then, like, this insulated bag, too. Another lunch bag, which is nice. A little smaller. This one's, like, neoprene material. That is $34.99. And, of course, the tongs. $14.99. It's all this, like, a cute design. I, like, I was just thinking... So you have Donald and Goofy and Mickey and Minnie. Where's Pluto, you ask? He's right down here. Pluto is the, uh, the towels. And this is all like, I basically recognize Small World and like teacups on this. Just all random Disney stuff. I mean, Tiki Room. Oh my gosh, I almost walked by these. I've never seen this before. The Rose Spatula. And then the Lumiere and Cogsworth, $14.99 and $20, because they have the, the Beast. I think there's a Bell one too, but I don't, I don't see it right over here. But I do appreciate them going full force into the kicking, uh, cooking utensils. We have all our Beauty and the Beast stuff over here as well, like the throws. I've seen, you've seen this because it's at the resorts as well in the uh, Everything Pop shop and dining video I did, but also 
this is here. And this is important because this is $30. And it's like a replica mirror. I think this looks really cool. I don't know that I've seen this before. I mean, I, I'm guilty of not always looking at the women's clothes. But $36.99. This feels like something taken from Etsy. And I also think I haven't seen these before either. I mean, maybe I just looked past them, but... This is, a, this is a pretty soft sweatshirt, actually. This is $44.99, but I like the colors on this. And I like the matching uh, the matching tights as well. Those are 40 And what would it be without a matching shiny hat? Ooh. I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but this is glitter, glitter, glitter. My happy place, $27.99. They're not charging you extra for the glitter. Same price as the regular hats, but uh, Stitch. Also, I believe these are 40 And then the purple spirit jersey. So plain. Oh my gosh, talk about shiny. Holy moly. This gets out into the Florida sun. It'll be like a disco ball was... I don't know where I'm going with this joke. $44.99. Holy cow. One... That's going to blind somebody. If anybody wants the mini jean jacket... That is going to be $70. The matching hat. This might be a bit much. Maybe there's some pants. I know there's pants. Hold on. Here's, your, here's, the, here's the new ensemble. I believe this is called a Canadian tuxedo. It's jean, jean, jean. A lot of jeans. A lot of jeans. Oh, but don't worry. You got jean shorts too. Okay, so... The pants are 50. The culottes, no, I know these aren't culottes, these are shorts. These are 40. For 10 more dollars, you get $5 a leg, a leg. The mini hat, I'm guessing, no, still $27.99. Okay, there you go. You can go jean crazy for your mouse friend. I do not remember if I've seen this lounge fly before, so correct me if I'm wrong and this was in another video, but I actually think this is really a nice design. I love that the characters are kind of the, the more or less regular versions of themselves. I like that it's like that darker blue highlighted with the lighter colors and it makes the characters really pop. That's a fun, that's fun. Inside Out, not my favorite movie, but I appreciate it, $75. This is the first bit of the Falcon and Winter Soldier merchandise I have seen. This is $30. I mean, it's relatively soft. I don't hate the design. It just feels sort of a little basic. You could get socks for, I don't know, because they're not marked. And classic cap hat for what I assume is $27.99. I am correct. Boom, we know the price of hats now. You're welcome, everyone. You got some Black Widow merch, which we've seen in the other places before. Ooh. Oh, I was thinking it would change when I touched it. Instead, now I'm just a creeper. In the continuing finds of, like, these Disney-themed board games, I've, we have the Game of Life. I have not seen this one before. They've got it all, like, on display over here, which is fun. That's cool. That is... $50. Look at you. Got Country Bear on there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And then for the more advanced tabletops games, they also have the Jungle Cruise Adventure game. This is for eight and up. I've seen people play this. $45. I think my problem is I never pay attention to my surrounding because they have the Jenga from Tower of Terror. If you remember that in that mer merchandise video I did, the Domino set. They've got Disney Parks Uno seen this before, the Haunted Mansion playing card set. Disney loves a good playing card set. That's $14.99. And the thing I actually originally came here for, the Wishables. They're $10 each. The four in the bag are Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, and Groot. I feel like Groot's the easier one to find because he's got like a square head. I would like a Star-Lord, a Groot, and then of course my friend Rocket here. I wish they would make Rocket into one of the Bigfoot plushes like the Bigfoot plush group because I have a feeling eventually I am going to get the Bigfoot plush group. So that's why I'm like, do I need the wishable? I don't know. 
I have Star Lord's helmet at my house, and I'm just thinking it would be cute to have him, like a little mini one of him there too. But um, what's fun is they don't just have those; are just the like current limited edition um, ones, and then they've got these other ones that are like Mickey and Minnie. Which was what she does a Disney Park, Disney Parks one. You've got Grumpy Donald, oh, like a little Pluto, the Dormouse. Captain America Woody. I know it's not Captain America. I know it's Toy Story Mania, but uh, that one's fun. And then of course we have the small world ones, which are the kangaroo and the joey. I don't know why I had to look at the thing to tell me that that's what those are. I know what animals are. And then you've got the genie and the main street wishables vehicles. I, what's interesting, I haven't seen any of the other vehicles. I wonder what the other, what the other stuff is going to be. So far, look at this guy. He's so funny. What's cool about the genie one is this a Make-A-Wish one. So all the proceeds of the, if you buy one of these, go to Make-A-Wish, which is really nice. Here's the big foot plush Groot that I was talking about. He's just so, uh, so cute. He's so happy. Someday, buddy. Someday. I just can't keep buying plushes. But like, he's just so cute. It brings such joy just looking at him, right? And shouldn't we have more things to bring us joy in our life? I think so. So I've seen some stuff in like the tie-dye colors. I haven't seen this before. Popping. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't love it, but I know that people love tie-dye right now, $45. And they have the graduation stuff, the 2021 graduation mini. And then Mickey. I like that they're wearing like these like bright popping colors. Oh, ties. This is actually, I really like this design. This is fun. I also like that they're like skinny ties and not like the like normal old school huge ones. This one's a lot of fun. It's like both blatant but understated. $45 for a necktie for a new snow? No, thank you. No, thank you. I know I've shown this hat in a video before, but then I just saw this. That's like, it's the hood, and then you got your little mittens. So you're like, it's like a scarf mittens, which is $35.99. And the ears move. Oh, hold up. Oh, it's one of those. I can't demonstrate it because I'm the only one here, but let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, I can't get it to work. Yeah, I can't do it because I'm the only one here. But I think you, like, squeeze these things in the hands that'll get the air ears to move. That's cool. That's cute. So they have that Disney Native mashup here. And I was going to legit, like, try these on today. But look, like, the biggest size they have is, like, what is this even? This is Men's 9. I, I think that's the... Well, those are also the mini ones, but... The, yeah, the highest I saw them go up to is like a nine. So they don't even have, I wear an 11, 11 and a half sometimes. So that's why I'm like, I can't even try these on. Just to see, I'm just curious because the fact that they say they're like, this would be good for the rain to have in my backpack on a rainy day, just throw on instead of my other shoes. Maybe, I don't know. Not Crocs though. Okay, here's that new collection that's like, it's part of the spring picks, but Disney Home. Oh my God, this shirt's like sandpaper. Uh, $24.99. But uh, yeah. So we saw this and this over there. They have some reusable straws that come with the pouch and like the cleaning kit. So there's like, what, three, four in there, four in there? I could have just flipped it over, 20 bucks for that. So anybody complaining about paper straws, there you go. Pack your straw, pack your patience. Um, and then this is disposable cloths. Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, how is that eco-friendly? These are a set of four dish cloths, but um, what makes these special? I want to know. <coughs> Nothing. So here's the fashion statement when you get the full ensemble. Um, but there's, again, there's the water bottle, the metal thing. I thought there was more. Oh, yeah, look, because there's, like, 
spoons. And then this is a new usable straw as well. This takes up so much space just for a straw. I think the ones that go in the pouch are much like more efficient. This is only $8. Um, but I mean, it's got the clean, the, the stuff to clean it with and everything. So you could like just bring this with you, I guess, in the park. But I feel like these ones are a little better, that one there. But look, that one comes with a fork, a knife, and a straw. I'm assuming all in this little like pouch thing. Do you think you can bring that in the park? I feel like, I don't know if they'd let you or not, but I'll have to, to find that out and ask somebody. I don't even see that. Oh, is it over here on the back maybe? I think it's over here on the back. Nope, it is not. Well, there's a hat to go with your, to your look. A uh, sun hat. I don't even want to check the price because I don't want people to get carried away. $34.99. My friend Steve loves to wear hats like that. Not Steve Porter. Although I wouldn't put it past him. $27.99, this is kind of basic. Some of this is a little basic, but I do appreciate like the silicon envelopes and stuff like that. So I'm happy that there's sustainability and reusability being employed in Disney merchandise. Hey look, Daredevil. These look new. I don't know. I don't follow headbands that much, but $30. I know people go crazy for them. I don't blame them. It's a great way to accessorize your outfit. Look, there's a lot of athleisure wear sort of stuff. I think this is all in the women's section though, because they're like that tights material, but they're shorts, they're $34.99. So really, you now you know, each one of your legs is worth about six bucks, but um, these are thicker. These are like sweatpant material. I like the pop of color on these. These look fun though. I mean, I'm a little envious. $34.99. I never look at the jewelry, but these earrings are popping. Look at that, $14.99. Cool. I like the Pixar collection, although I don't Oh, Monsters University. I was like, I don't know what the baseball hat is supposed to be. There's no price tag. But like, the little Buzz and Woody charm. Or not Buzz and Woody, that's just Woody. Right, the up house. Okay, so no price tag station though. So I have no idea how much any of that is. That's fun. I don't remember seeing these Marie ones before. I like that they have this the cut in the leg design here. 40 bucks, but there's like a matching sweatshirt. It's all about meow. Oh, me now. <laughs> That's fun. $45, and there you have it. That is some of the uh, newer, at least new to me merchandise that I saw in World of Disney. And I hope that you enjoyed that journey with me and, taking that shopping because I really enjoy doing these videos um, and I, I hope that they just can bring a little bit of uh, fun and levity to everybody's day and like I said I'm always open to suggestions where you'd like me to see I do try and rotate back to some of these major locations like World of Disney um, I'll obviously go back to the Emporium after a little bit of time the main gift shops in all the parks too um, after a little bit of time has passed because I'm I'm genuinely curious how often new stuff rotates in so I, I enjoy this journey of like checking this out and seeing the prices and, and all that stuff. Of course, I usually leave empty handed. So it's a lot of window shopping for me. So it's a, it's a fun challenge. So uh, thank you all for, for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, please just give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And I think that is gonna do it for me. Again, if the next time you're planning a Disney vacation, um, please consider booking with Dreams Unlimited Travel. Cost you nothing extra and you help support the show. Uh, the show, the channel, the shows, channels, and site, and everything like that. So thank you all for coming on this journey with me. I hope that you are just having an amazing week and that you're doing well. And uh, I will see you next time. So bye, everybody.